Chapter 9. Choosing the Right Networked Audio So now that we've examined each transport in detail, let's review and tie it all together. AVB has no owner. It's based on open standards. Blue Link is owned by Harman. And Cobernet and Dante are respectively licensed from Cirrus Logic and Audinate, which drives up prices. The maximum audio channel capacity per device, using BSS audio devices as an example, is 64 in, 64 out for AVB, 128 by 128 for Blue Link, 32 by 32 for Cobernet, and 64 by 64 for Dante. The maximum audio channel capacity per network is 256 per Blue Link ring or daisy chain and the other three are limited only by the size and bandwidth of the Ethernet network. Latency, again using BSS audio devices as an example, ranges from 2 to 0.5 milliseconds for AVB, 0.229 down to 0.042 milliseconds for Blue Link, 5.3 down to 1.3 milliseconds for Cobernet, and 5 down to 0.15 milliseconds for Dante. The risk of broadcast traffic causing problems on the network is high with Cobernet, be very careful using multicast bundles. Medium with Dante because there's a chance IGMP isn't set up correctly within your network switches. Low with AVB because the switches will handle the management for you. And non-existent with Blue Link because Blue Link doesn't use the Ethernet network. It's not Ethernet-based. The other three are. Therefore, they can pass through a network switch with AVB requiring special switches. And they can coexist on a single cable with other types of traffic. For example, if you need one cable to carry Dante audio and high QNet control between two locations, this is easily accomplished by placing a network switch in each location and running a single cable between the two switches. And as with any Ethernet-based system, the switches will automatically multiplex and demultiplex all data as needed. Blue Link, on the other hand, does not pass through switches and it always requires its own dedicated cables. For these reasons, in large installations, Blue Link is commonly used to share local audio between devices within the same rack room. With a Blue Link bridging device and an Ethernet-based transport to share audio and control between rooms on a single cable. This hybrid approach offers the best of both worlds. Blue Link minimizes network strain and switch port usage by offloading local audio into dedicated cables while AVB, Cobernet, or Dante unifies the building by leveraging the building's main network infrastructure, so there's no need to pull any extra cables in the conduit between rooms. If you're wondering which specific transport to use, here are some useful guidelines. Use Blue Link instead of the others for budget-constrained applications with up to 256 sources. Or, in larger systems, use Blue Link to complement the others by adding network channels and reducing overall costs. Use Cobernet for retrofits, where you need to interface with pre-existing Cobernet equipment. Use AVB for new installations where they've purchased specialized AVB switches, because they prefer to automate most of the network management. And use Dante for new installations, where the IT manager prefers to use standard non-specialized switches and Layer 3 network management. Next, let's discuss digital clocking. Anytime digital audio is shared across physical devices, all devices must receive and synchronize to a clock signal originating from one host device. Without proper clock synchronization, the audio suffers in the form of clicks, pops, distortion, or noise. When designing a sound web London based system which incorporates two or more transports, there's an important clock related rule to keep in mind. Only Blue Link and Dante networks can sync to a clock from another network. Let's dissect what that statement means. If Blue Link and Cobernet are both used in the same SoundWeb London system, then one of the Cobernet devices on the network will act as host clock, and all devices in the Blue Link network will automatically sync to that clock, which essentially gets forwarded to them through the bridging device. So, since the same clock signal is being sent to all devices in the system, this works just fine, and it is a supported combination. If Blue Link and AVB are both used, then one of the AVB devices provides the clock. And the Blue Link network syncs to it, just like before. 
So, this combination is also supported. If Blue Link and Dante are used, then technically the host clock can reside in either network. Although typically, and by default, Dante provides the clock to Blue Link. But either way, it works, and it's another supported combination. If Blue Link and Dante and Cobranet are used, then Cobranet provides the clock. And Blue Link and Dante can ultimately sync to that clock. This is another supported combination. If Blue Link, Dante, and AVB are used, then AVB provides the clock, another supported combination. But if Blue Link, AVB, and Cobranet are used, then AVB and Cobranet will force conflicting clock signals to Blue Link, which messes up the Blue Link audio. So this is an unsupported combination. In summary, you can design a Sound Web London system with any combination of transports, as long as it does not involve both AVB and Cobranet. That concludes this video series. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to your feedback.